Tuesday, January 24, 2017. This is the Government News Brief. In the news, the government is working to improve public dental services to citizens. The East Bank Demerara pedestrian and vehicle bypasses will include features to facilitate all Guyanese, and the Guyana Energy Agency, GEA, will be intensifying efforts to promote efficient use of energy. Stay tuned for these and other stories. Thank you for staying with us. I am Ronette LaFleur and here are the details. Public dental services have improved significantly and the government continues to expand the delivery of dental services in schools. More in this Delicia Haynes report. Part of the Ministry of Public Health's mandate is to ensure that quality health care is provided to all citizens. The ministry has begun a series of training and capacity building exercises for dental specialists and doctors. This will result in enhanced dental services, says Minister within the Ministry of Public Health, Dr. Karen Cummins, who explains that most active regions participating in dental training are Regions 3, 4, 6 and Georgetown. As we move into 2017, the Ministry of Public Health will continue to work assiduously to further enhance the dental health services currently offered within the public health system. This ministry will be embarking on ways to ensure and to provide access to better quality professional oral health care for those vulnerable populations in Guyana. Additionally, the ministry um, will provide service and education to children since we believe that practicing an effective oral health should begin very early in a person's life. Dental nurses and dental assistants are trained to attend particularly to school children and young adults below 18 years. Minister Cummins points out that staffers work under the supervision of dental surgeons to deliver preventative and curative dental care to children in schools. The Ministry of Public Health, through the Chedi Jagan um, Dental Care, continues to offer exemplary dental health care services to the people of Guyana. A broad spectrum of dental services include um, modern, using modern technologies available along with well-trained cadre of staff. 90% of our Guyanese has access to dental um, health services offered by this Ministry of Public Health. And so we offer specialized dental care, namely maxillofacial surgery, um, prosthodontics or dentures as we know it as, periodontics, um, gum disease and surgery, and endodontics, root canal therapy. Dental services offered to Guyanese have improved significantly. There are 59 dentics, dental nurses, 21 community dental therapists and 23 dental assistants within the public health system. There are currently 13 graduates from the University of Guyana School of Dentistry in the public health system. There are also plans to create three more school-based dental clinics at President's College, Lodge Secondary School and Christianburg Secondary School. For the Government News Brief, I am Delicia Haynes. The proposed East Bank Demerara pedestrian and vehicle bypasses will have features to cater for all Guyanese. Delon Sanko has the details. The coordinator of the Works Service Group, Ministry of Public Infrastructure, Geoffrey Vaughan, says that the new bypasses will have features which will enable the elderly and persons with disability to have an equal opportunity to use the bypasses. We're looking at putting in an elevator for those elderly persons who may not be able to walk the stairs to get up. So the elevator will take them up and then they will just go to the other side and get down. So there's a few modern features we are looking at that we are hoping that everything will work out for us. Three pedestrian bypasses will be constructed at Houston, the Demerara Arbor Bridge and Heckles, while a vehicle bypass will be constructed at Diamond from the junction. Vaughan says that the bids were opened on January 10th and the evaluation process is almost complete and would be taken to cabinet for approval. It's a normal design. One is a pedestrian overpass and one is a vehicle overpass. And it's a design where, you know, persons will be able to now not having to interface with the traffic, but they'll now be able to use an overhead walkway, which would basically give them time to get over the road. The Work Services Coordinator is confident that his ministry will improve the infrastructure for Guyanese. He's advising Guyanese to be alert when work commences to take the necessary precautions and arrangement. With residents, we know there will be some amount of discomfort sometimes, but um, we're just asking for them to abide with us. We will inform them when those works will be started. So persons are given a good headway in terms of making alternative arrangements should that be the case. Vaughn says that the work on the bypasses should start within the next two months, once there are no delays with Cabinet's approval. The works are expected to last for 10 months. 
Dalon Sanko for the government news brief. The Guyana Energy Agency, GEA, will be intensifying efforts in 2017 to target rational and efficient use of energy. Tiffany Rodias reports. Chief Executive Officer, CEO of the GEA, Mahendra Sharma, says the company will do more sensitization through public education and technological interventions to inculcate behavioral changes in Guyanese to avoid unnecessary and wasteful energy consumption. 10,000 lamps, 3,000 occupancy centers in government buildings to help reduce the energy consumption. When we're putting RE on a building, we want to make sure that the EE would have been in place or is closely timed so that we don't, we don't, you know, waste the effort. This intervention will result in $54 million of energy savings annually and other environmental benefits, Sharma says. Through collaboration with the Ministry of Public Infrastructure, this year the agency will also replace inefficient lights and install LED lamps in government buildings and on streets. We will also be supporting the Ministry of Finance with a project and, and the street lighting division under the Ministry of Public Infrastructure to replace some 5,000 street lamps with LED versions. Once again, huge savings, $158 million annually, just by changing out a 250 watt lamp to 100 watt LED or 120 watt LED. The CEO explains that these interventions are in keeping with the government's vision of greening the economy. In Minister Finance's budget speech, um, there's a significant focus on greening the economy and to do this, government has dedicated about a billion dollars to implement a series of RE and EE projects in 2017. These will translate into the installation of PV panels. Sharma notes that energy consumption is Guyana is a critical issue and many persons do not manage their consumption efficiently. This has resulted in many millions of dollars in losses, which could have been used for the development of the country. For the Government News Brief, I'm Tiffany Rogers. The Social Cohesion Minister, Dr. George Norton, says that there should be consistency in elections dates and better knowledge of the significance of national symbols. Find out why in this Zanil Williams report. The Ministry of Social Cohesion has collaborated with the Ministry of Education to author a book called I Am Guyanese. The Minister of Social Cohesion, Dr. George Norton, says the booklet is currently in its draft phase and will be implemented into the school system shortly. It is something that is needed a long time ago. The content of this, of this book in itself, um, <clears throat> and of course it's for the primary level. Dr. Norton says the children should be educated at an early age on what it means to be a Guyanese. He notes that key dates for elections and national awards should also be known to the public. Elections every year. I mean, Mr. Granger in no uncertain terms says that we must have a specific day for election, okay? We have been into situations where the nation was left to speculate when will be the next elections. We must know that it ha must happen every five years, that is ruled by a president. We've got prime ministers and ministers and know what parliament is all about. Minister Norton says if citizens are to be stimulated to work for the country and be patriotic, they should know the national awards, like the Order of Excellence, Order of Raima, Kasik's Crown of Honor and Golden Arrow of Achievement. The significance of these and other symbols of nationhood, as the National Anthem, National Pledge and Coat of Arms, should also be known to all Guyanese. Zanil Williams reporting for the Government News Brief. The Central Housing and Planning Authority, CHNPA, is set to adopt a number of strategies to the green housing development and construction. Gabriela Patram tells us more. Minister of Communities Valerie Adams Patterson says the move is in keeping with the government's efforts towards creating a green Guyana. Emphasis will be placed on increasing the use of building materials and construction practices that are environmentally friendly and energy efficient. These include the replacement of inefficient lights, the minister says. For its part, our ministry will promote and pursue among deals replacing the old inefficient lights with newer efficient LEDs over the next five years. This will help reduce council's energy bill, and the mayor will be happy to hear this, and improve services in the communities. In collaboration with the Guyana Energy Agency, we will implement a 1,000 bulbs initiative, which will see the installation of energy-saving LED bulbs 
in public buildings and facilities in all the capital towns. Minister Adams Patterson says the CHNPA will also promote green pathways and green open spaces. Boulevards and trees lined walkways are among some of the initiatives to be undertaken. These pathways will improve access to economic facilities, while the trees improve air quality, aesthetics, and property value. Green spaces are a great benefit to our environment and residents. They filter pollutants and dust from the air. They provide shade and lower temperatures in urban areas, and even reduce erosion of soil into our waterways. Green spaces also provide an environment that fosters community cohesion. The facilities may be parks or community centers and will feature green construction, green energy and greenery. The government's green agenda, which is expected to encompass all the sectors and the work program. The Green Guyana agenda seeks to usher in a new era of economic growth based on policies that allows for the sustainable management of the country's environmental resources. For the government news brief, Gabriella Patram. We have come to the end of today's edition of the Government News Brief. The details of these and other stories can be found on Gina's website. Gina has an active Facebook page and we encourage you to visit and like us so you can be informed as the news unfolds. You can also visit our website and YouTube channel. Do join us tomorrow for another edition of the Government News Brief. I am Renette Lefleur. Thank you for watching.